bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not, forget not His benefits. He forgives all your trespasses and He heals all your diseases. Bless the Lord. Let your soul be rejoicing and receiving from the Lord. The Spirit is the Lord. Everything that the soul needs, depends on, and align with the blessings that the Father wants to pour inside you to bless you, your body, and everybody around you. You're so blessed. I will uh, continue um, maybe the first, um, first couple of um, things we talked about are pretty heavy, um, maybe deeper than some were prepared to hear. Um, hope you can listen and um, get to talk to your teacher, which is the Holy Spirit. Ask Him. <laughs> and uh, he, He's going to show you. But I want to I wanna start today um, something that's uh, dear to me because was, um, it came from a revelation. He gave me about uh, Psalms, the Psalms of Ascent. The Psalms from Psalm 120, 120 to 134. There are 15, 15 Psalms, 10 and 5, right? <laughs> 15 Psalms, which are basically different steps. That's what he showed me. They are the Psalms that show the salvation of the soul to the perfection, which is oneness with the Spirit. And the place of um, rapture. Yeah, it's eschatology, right? It's, uh, you don't want to hear about that. It's, it's fine. But you want to hear about this ascent, this step. So it's so... Um, beautiful and clear so for the next uh, several series you will hear some type of teaching and revelation <clears throat> you'll find yourself in different levels and different steps and there are things that the Lord is going to show you about see there are some um, uh, principles regarding how he showed me these steps so first of all they are 15 but they are in five levels each level has a name has a start and a fruit that is bringing right now each level has the the three parts and three steps in it so five times five times three, it's fifteen. Yes. So in each level, <laughs> show me how how things are. You know, our growth is not linear, and it's not in circle, but it's kind of growing this way, like spiral, right? That means that somehow you've been in a similar situation in time, but you are seeing the same situation at a different level. Make sense? Okay. So, and you'll hear this and it's going to make sense as we go through these levels, right? Um, so the first step, if you want, the first part of each level I called it the crisis. No matter how much you hate crisis, there are something that makes you go forward. 
it challenges you it shows you you have not arrived yet okay so when you try to look from above and see everything under your feet and then the little toe starts hurting extremely bad it's a crisis but don't don't think oh my gosh all this is in vain no 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 it's a crisis that shows you there is another level your father the holy spirit which is the teacher is working the anointing works in you new levels of growth towards the place where spirit of soul and soul are coming into one right so the crisis uh, always tells you there is another start there is another level the crisis comes with a light um, a, a revelation of the situation and it makes you um, come with some decisions it shows you what the problem is it somehow it opens up and says ah that's something it has to change right but thank God it doesn't leave you in the crisis so the next step in each level right will be something that I call the revelation and that's the discernment and the impartation of the solution it shows you the solution everything that he is showing sometimes the enemy the enemy creates the crisis and you know what he does it shows you the next part that the Lord wants to bless. It shows you the next part inside your soul that the Lord wants to change. <laughs> oh man, we should rejoice way more in Christ than we are right now. <laughs> so it shows you the solution. But there is a third part. And I, I found that lots of um, lots of people that walk with the Lord, right? Sons and people that understand sonship and even mature Christians, right? They stop at the revelation and says, oh yes, I got it. Wow, that's awesome. But on the ground, nothing happens, right? So the third part in each level, it's something that I called ascension, so think about how a step is, right? Um, you realize that you are lower than you should be, okay? And then here's the revelation, right? Is that uh, the vertical part. But unless you step on that step, you put your foot on that step, um, you are not ascending. You're just admiring how much farther you could be because of the solution and the revelation but you're not stepping on it you understand you have to go to it you have to bring it to the ground you have to take possession we talked about this when we talked about Canaan right because you you see the crisis okay here's the battle here are the walls then you hear the word right the word brings the revelation the 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 walls are falling but if you're just admiring the falling of the walls wow i have a great god wow what a power has god but you would not go in and take over the city you wouldn't have it you just had a revelation experience with god but no you ascension means you go and take over the city and conquer it settle it areas of your soul where you saw that fear and he got you in trouble and you got the revelation of the spirit of power love and sound mind and the love that casts fear and you felt that love 
but you never conquered that. So next time, here is another trigger and that fear comes in again because you never conquered, never ascended to that place to take over that part of the soul so fear cannot come in. Make sense? Good. So these three parts, <laughs> crisis, revelation, ascension, in each of the levels, and it's done with the psalm. So it's going to be lots of singing, isn't it? <laughs> um, also, another principle. Every step is made by grace and not by law. It always starts with God's initiative. It's grace. Even in the crisis. Even in the revelation, we know it's faith and the revelation of grace. Ascension is done by grace. All the teaching that you will hear is grace teaching you. It might sound or look like things that are clear, boundaries, directions. But grace also is a very clear clear direction type of teacher. Grace, grace is not a wishy-washy. It's like, well, if you die, God loves you anyhow. That's not how grace teaches. I, I hope you did hear grace teaching you, right? Um, I think Titus says that grace teaches us how to break away from sin. Another principle that you will see in, in this, um, the Psalms of Ascents, is that every new level as you grow will bring, will add to, something like Peter says, add to your faith virtue to virtue. And yeah, it, so it's, it's a similar uh, type of thing, so every step adds to the previous one. Every level adds to that. That means it solidifies the previous steps. When you understand dealing with sin, with the root of making sins or sinning, with the flesh, with the old nature, when you understand and overcome that, it's going to be so much simpler to deal with forgiveness and sins and stop doing the wrong things. It's easier because you have an amount of grace that adds to the other one. Right? So this is, this is very important. At the same time, when you get to a mature level, it doesn't mean that um, you know, if if something pops out of your mouth that's not right, you're gonna say, "Well, I'm so mature now, I I don't care." No. But if in level one it took you days to see that and bring it to the light, now in the maturity it takes you a second. You see it and says, "Lord, that's not me. That I I don't know what what happened there." I bring it to the cross, thank you for the blood of Jesus. And you move on. It's a second there. Right? So it doesn't mean that as you mature, you don't care about all the other things. No, because remember this, you are stepping up and the 10th or the 11th step is not like in the air. You don't start stepping from the 10th. No, you went from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4. So all of those are ascended. So you got them. It's built inside you the knowledge like we're talking about riding the bike, right? That knowledge, the knowing of riding the bike is inside you. So all this are building inside the new creation, the new man, your soul this new 
habits, new way of thinking. The mind of Christ. The ways of God. And also a, a very important thing is a, a thing that we mentioned this before. God's timing measures the growth of the seed. Some will say, well, I think I've been on this for two years. I think the next one will take me six months. It's not how he measures, right? It's not lunar, uh, solar, um, it's not like this. He measures by the growth of the seed because the Word is the one growing. It's Him growing inside and getting through these levels. You see it as a step up, but actually is a growth coming like a plant, like a tree that's growing from the seed. And your level of maturity is not for how long have you read the Bible, for how long have you doing ministry. That's not the level of maturity. It's where is, what's the fruit, what's the maturity of the seed of the Word inside you. And that's how He measures the growth. And very quickly, just to get an idea about what we're going to talk about. Level one, right? And I hope this will will captivate and keep you connected to keep listening, right? Uh, I know you well. Level one, I call it Christ in you, a new creation. It's. Uh, the the baby the childhood the start right and it starts with psalm 120 that talks about repentance saving out of the world by grace psalm 121 it's faith toward god that brings salvation psalm 122 talks about being born again and baptized in the spirit do you see the steps? So amazing. It's in the Word, in those Psalms. We'll go through them. So that's the first level. Second level is you in Christ. So first one was Christ in you, now you in Christ. And I call this kind of a youth type of age, spiritual age. right? So it starts with the crisis again which is in Psalm 123, discover the law of sin and death that makes you slave to what you don't want to do. That's a crisis, right? Psalm 124, deliverance from the law of sin and death. Remember, that's the revelation. And Psalm 125, which is the ascension, which is the assurance being established in faith, right? So that is level two. Level three, I, I, I know it's, uh, it got your attention, right? Um, level three is abide in the vine, I called it, and it's the kind of a parenting type of age. Uh, Psalm 126 talks about denying self to live for others. It's a crisis because it's childbirth pains. Right? Um, in Psalm 127, is, uh, the revelation is about bringing up spiritual fruit. What is that fruit? And uh, Psalm, Psalm 128 is something about fruit for the glory of the Father. Right? Level 4, the Son of Man, I call it. So, um, the full age. Uh, Psalm 129 talks about the denying the natural part of self. It talks about the tree of knowledge, so that's a crisis. 
Psalm 130 is deliverance from conscious consciousness of sin and 131 is ascension is the total dependency equals total freedom level 5 I call it son of God one with him yes that's told you we're going there and um, Psalm 132 is about next generation 133 is a vision for the body of Christ which is the fullness of the one that fills all this is amazing this is powerful and Psalm 134 is the last one and is oneness with him so one reason I started to put this down if he showed this to me years ago is that I found that some of you and people that you talk to would like to understand how you know the steps how did you get into this how did you get to sonship how did you get to understand this and uh, while each of us have different experiences each of us see things experience things understand things differently I know that these steps are really something that he is doing right with majority of us you know for some of us maybe it starts from the end to the beginning or it jumps straight to uh, level three or something you know maybe they never had problems with the law of sin right it's the you know sin you know it was already defeated and they overcame it from the moment they said yes Jesus right but majority of us we go through these steps all of this are being presented to us from the Lord that calls us sons from the new identity from him seeing us as a brand new creation and not from the tree of knowledge consciousness of sin the sinner that has to cut this and renounce this and come and read the bible more and do more for god and that's not the presentation but from the one that draws us to himself from the one that started it's already in one with the spirit and is drawing us to the perfection in him so this is uh, this is what's coming this is an introduction and uh, I cannot wait to start it so we'll go to the to the first level first step um, tomorrow. Bless you. Amen.